Um, again, 360 degrees of swivel. So if I unlock it here, do that one here, on swivel, go over this one. Again, they come apart really, really easily and it swivels 360. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is gonna be a quick video here today, but this is good for me because you guys know me, I go through vices. I tend to break them because I'm very hard on them. Uh, my brother-in-law Joey just made me an awesome table and to go with that table, I wanted a new vice and I wanted something I know it's going to last. I've had other vices that are usually cast iron and they're strong-ish, but after me hammering on them, they tend to break. So also Tools was kind enough to send me this new one and guys, it is forged and it is beautiful. So here is the new vise. This is a six inch vise from Ulsa Tools here. This has 360 degree swivel. So no matter where you're at, that head will swivel wherever you would like. It has a large oversized pad for if you need to hammer, beat something down. I like the fact that it has an oversized pad. You can see here, I have two other vices here and the pads on there are much smaller. You can see that the bottom of that is not reinforced. This one is just tiny and you can see how large the pad is. And on top of it, you can see the pad is fully reinforced where if you look over here, the pad on this one, if I would hammer on that edge, would most likely chip off. Again, this is a forged vise, so the actual material itself is forged and it handles a ton of pressure. Now, this is the second to the biggest. This is their six inch. They do offer a seven inch. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is it does come with mounting hardware. One of the things I've always noticed is when you get these, you have to figure out the bolts and stuff you want. I love the fact they came with mounting hardware, the washers, everything, they're extra long, especially because I have these big metal tables like this. You can see here, these will reach the whole way down. It also comes with these soft jaws. So let me open this up here. This is such a smooth operation. It comes with these nice soft jaws. So obviously you got your steel jaws, but it comes with these magnetic soft jaws. These are something I've been needing for years and I didn't know you could just get them like this in magnetic. I thought you had to bolt them on and off. Nope magnetically stick on there so you do something that needs something like a piece of aluminum you need it nice and soft don't want to mar it up use these real quick once you're done and got to go back to your regular steel stuff take these off like this boom and back to your regular steel clamp all right guys so here's this new three by three table and you're kind of probably wondering well, why do i want this so here's my garage yes i am a super fanatic i work on them this is my personal super this is my wife's and that's my one friends i'm working on we're turboing right now but the reason for the table is i can't like grind and work on the cars because when i do that i learned the hard way it gets into the paint and it can ruin it so this new table is for you know doing all the stuff like bench grinders all that kind of stuff i can beat it up i don't care and i can do it outside even though when it's colder or that, that kind of stuff's going on it stinks but at least it gives me something to work with and that was one of the big reasons for this i needed a new vice that can take a beating i plan on you know hammering this i literally take a sledgehammer when i'm working on some piece of metal and beat against it this thing being forged will you know stand up to the test of time again 360 degrees of swivel so if i unlock it here do that one here on swivel go over this one Again, they come apart really, really easily and it swivels 360. And again, I like that and I put it on the edge like this because of working, but if I need to, I need to have it on this side. Again, I really like that. And the other thing I notice, and compared to my other two vices is how smooth this spins. My other two, if I would hold it like here, it'd get stuck, like I have to push on it. Does that matter? Yes, no, to me it does because if it's already stiff from the start, that means it's only gonna get worse after you bind. Have binding issues, you start beating on it, it's gonna get tighter and tighter and be harder and harder to spin. This being so smooth from the very start, gives me that feeling of this thing's going to last quite some time for me. I already went ahead and drilled the holes and put them in. Now I didn't put the nuts and washers on yet because I need to paint this table, but you guys can see they're quite long. You can see how much space I have here and I still have enough to put a washer and the nut on. The one I did cut down, I cut so much of it off and just had the nut up inside of it. And when I threaded it off, it cleaned up the threads for me. Again, I did the same thing here, drilled it out and you can see I just, just have enough clearance or error right along that edge. This table again is probably overkill for 99% of people, but I like having it kind of like this vice. This thing is overkill, but it's one of the things you buy once and be done. I'll link it all down below for you guys. Let me know what y'all think of it. I'm very happy with it so far and I can't wait to start really hammering into things.